Hello, my name is Diego Ray. Uh, I was a student here at Santa Barbara from 2000 to 2004 in electrical engineering. Uh, and then after that, I switched sides from the, uh, I guess, hard sciences to the squishy sciences, so to speak, and uh, joined the biomedical engineering program at Cornell University. I guess I've been dubbed the skateboarding scientist. I think just because I'm from Santa Barbara, everyone skateboards in Santa Barbara, so I would say anyone who does anything related to science would be a skateboarding scientist if you're here at UCSB, or you could be the skateboarding engineer. But uh, I brought my skateboard with me from Santa Barbara, and, uh, and so people were wondering what this guy was doing with a skateboard uh, on this hill, uh, and so I maybe I started getting some of that reputation. <laughs> Looking back, you know, in, in my entire academic experience, undergrad, grad school, and even before that, you know, high schools, et cetera, uh, I really had the best time, I, I probably could say, in my entire life here at Santa Barbara. It's just, uh, the memories here were just amazing, just super fun, tons of hard work, but you know, and at the same time, a lot of fun, made a lot of really great friends. The last course that I took was uh, uh, by, the, by Elon uh, Benyakov, the professor who was leading the Capstone project. And, uh, and so I actually knew him from that. It was literally, I think, the last course that I took at Santa Barbara was his course. And so more recently, I learned about the Capstone project and the fact that he was running it. I had no idea. It was just an interesting coincidence. And so um, through him, uh, I was able to, to get in touch with the Capstone uh, uh, projects and, and uh, then ended up, uh, Roche ended up uh, sponsoring a team. The team is, um, uh, is working on, on technology that, that, uh, that GeneWeave is developing. So uh, I didn't mention earlier in the way that, uh, that the way that our tests work is, is that it makes bugs light up and produce light and we detect that light. And so the Capstone project is actually looking at making a, a cheaper, smaller version of the light detector that we have, which is, in order to improve that. For me personally, yeah, uh, mentorship's always, always been something that I continue to do after Santa Barbara. What really made UCSB special though is actually this group that I mentioned, Los Ingenieros. Uh, it, it was a bunch of friends uh, that uh, you know, were all in the same or similar classes. Uh, we're all coming uh, from, from uh, various backgrounds and, and uh, you know, experiencing being at a university away from home for the first time, you know, kind of what every other student freshman year, for example, experiences. But uh, it, was, it, was, uh, it was a great group of folks who kind of stuck together, studied together. Uh, we taught together also. We did a lot of outreach activities uh, for local high schools and so on and, uh, and, and things like that. And, uh, and so uh, that actually it was basically the mentorship. General advice, you know, the, the, the easy thing to say, just you know, always work hard, of course. Uh, it, it, uh, it's easy to do at Santa Barbara because you get that, uh, that uh, avenue for, for being able to, uh, to celebrate your, your, your hard work in a, a great campus like this. Uh, but uh, I, I guess the other, the other thing in general is that as, as hard as it's, you know, the engineering program is super tough, right? It's really rigorous, uh, a lot of hard work. And you learn a ton, right? But you're going to learn so much more once you, you go to your next uh, step, whatever that might be, whether it's industry or going to grad school or what, whatever else you might do. Uh, that's where really the, the, all, all the practical learning really starts. You know, the, the, the schooling here gets you prepared for actually being able to do those types of things. And, uh, and so uh, for as much hard work as it is, it's only just the beginning. Looking back at it once you get there, it's going to go by in a flash. Uh, so um, just keep at it and, and look forward to everything else that will come uh, after that.